Hello everybody at YouTube. I want to take the time to show you some stuff I've been working on. Been making some nice little dragons here. Got a brand new little setup. Something that's kind of like a tripod like thing. Oh, I don't know if I showed the back of this one. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one's still a little, it didn't cure all the way or correctly. Some of these turned out really well. If it wasn't so early, I'd have my we'd be able to tell from the light from the television to see if some of these will actually glow. This is actually the last one I made. And just recently started using this mold. I still got one that needs to needs a few more layers, but I'm wanting to put something in on top of this with a little resin, let it cure, and then pour a brand new coat. And I'm gonna do a little attempt, a little practice attempt on trying to get this picture in the resin, but I don't know if it will work before I start casting family photos and resin for little keepsakes but this is really interesting I love how this one turned out I've already started on this one that's why this one's so um, <laughs> fogged up <laughs> But hopefully I will be able to file it down and give it a brand new shape. Shapes like this beautiful thing right here took me forever to actually do this. I mean it still has some issues, little cracking right there. Love how this one turned out. It's amazing what a little bit of nail polish and some resin can do. <laughs> now this one right here is really soft. Somehow the resin cured on the outside but actually left a little pocket of uncured resin. I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. Nice little blank with the some blue dye mixed in with it. Let's see if I can adjust this a lot a little bit. So you can see the can't really see the color that well and I'm gonna have to do a fresh coat over the top or I'll just sand it down. Whichever one saves on time. See, unfortunately, it's really hard for the camera to pick up the color that's up in these areas and the coal that's inside. Hmm. Yeah, this one's got a little a few issues where it didn't want to cure on the back here, but I usually will I sand this off anyway, so. I don't know if you know this, but this is actually hardened 
toothpaste that I casted inside. It almost looks like a miniaturized planet. I, I can't wait to see what I can change that into. But because of the uh, back trying to flake off, it's going to be really difficult. And somehow, the uh, it didn't cure right here in this spot. And I, I'm just now noticing it. <laughs> This is from one of my mixing sticks that uh, I'm trying to do a, <clears throat> a pattern on. Before casting it, it had a lot of potential. It was looking really different, looking really interesting. And possibly, I don't know if I'll send this to another YouTuber, see if they can work on it. Maybe put it into a pen blank. Now this piece, this one turned out really nice. It's got a little cut right here where I was trying to remove this one from the from the opposite one because it got stuck inside, so I had to cut it off, <laughs> remove it. Now, this is one that I made a, long, a while back, and believe it or not, but this is actually hair dye that's trapped inside. I actually had to put this in my windowsill wrapped up in some parchment paper. This ain't the same paper, by the way. <laughs> and... There was a lot of problems back in the beginning, but um, after it stayed in the windowsill for a while, it finally cured. I actually had to scrape and remove a lot of what was in there because it was just like a pocket of uncured resin and hair dye. But, um, but it was an experiment. I just wanted to see if it might work, you know. Now this is a really gorgeous beauty right here. The only thing I don't like about it is it's too close to the bottom. So when I start sanding this off, it's going to probably tear right into the bottom of it. So I got to be extremely careful. Forgot to show these. I paused for a second so I can put some of the other pieces up. I was hoping maybe these could be turned into pin blanks because this one, every part of this just tried to float. I thought I had it wedged tight enough, and that's when it started to float. I don't have a pressure pot. Even if I had the money, I probably wouldn't get one because the first thing there I thought my phone was getting ready to die even though it's plugged in it's just not used to being plugged up to a piece like this this will actually change color I'm hoping to do a video once I I'm amazed that this thing's clipping onto my table. <laughs> Not uh, this one. It was. Um, it kept trying to come off, so I clipped it to the, the big table that's right over here to the right. Just wanted to show y'all some of my little projects. Somehow how I 
start working on these on pieces like these I will actually put the pine cones or I'll remove the petals from the pine cones and soak them in, in my dyes and let them <clears throat> absorb as much over a long period of time and let them dry and if they actually make it through I'll move them to something I'll start casting them in resin now this is a walnut that I've been a walnut shell that I've been working on it's got a little bit of a creepy face to it which is absolutely weird but I'm still working on trying to sand this down so I can get to the resin layer through the back so that way I can see what could see what type of interesting patterns that may have gotten captured because we don't really know what it will look like underneath so it's still gonna take a while the last time I, wore, I was sanding on this I spent about three hours on it Had a couple of walnut shells somewhere that, um, oh, hang on one second. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to make sure that it kind of flipped on me. Now, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to let it soak and absorb as much of this mixture so it could um, glow. Let's see if we can get this to glow by cutting the cutting the light off real quick. Okay, well, <laughs> that must be still too early. It's funny that you can actually use a television as a black light this one's got like a beautiful heart shape to it a lot of different nail polish around the outs around the outer side inside but you got to be really careful when you go outside and collect these to do little projects like I've been doing because of um When I was trying to clean it out, a spider came out, out of one of them. So I had to, so you might want to have something like this ready. Just need a little bit of, you just need some rubbing alcohol. And some simple highlighter pins. But most of what's in here is actually... It's only like a half and half because I mixed too many marker inks together to see what would happen. And sometimes it will actually separate, showing a different color underneath. With this one, I'm just going to finish chipping all this away, makes them, and then. Chip that away. And I'm going to try to leave some up through here. And try to figure out a way to sand this back completely down. But if I can just separate this from the rest. It might be a little bit easier. And I'll have a nice little heart, little pendant. Depending on how it turns out. I'll probably have to. Do it recast. I might cast in that little heart mold I was showing to y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.